Hey people, Indrid here, 3v3, Typhon Maya, blue team, tis a bunch of orcs, Gaz is a commando knob, an infiltrating hero that shoots you, stabs you and blows you up, Orky style begins with a twin link shooter alongside, Schmooze operator as a mech boy, teleporting hero fighting in ranged combat with a bunch of orky gadgets and rounding off the team, Vengetron as a very angry war boss, a melee hero walking through objects, very good offense, disruption and support from the front lines, red team, Dried Apricot is a Warlock, a melee spellcaster that leaps into combat for some powerful disruption and support. Alongside them, John Oakman as a tech marine starts off with a ranged bolt gun, can support with structures and repair. And rounding off the team, Sandstorm as a brother captain, a durable hero, walking through objects that cannot be suppressed with powerful offense and support, fighting in melee. They are on the south side against the war boss, popping We Are the Hammer there for some damage resistance aura and a speed increase aura. Warboss needs to leave, back towards the mid then. Contested victory point is blue for the orcs. Lots of Daka, Howling Banshee's coming in now. Destructor flies in from the Warlock. Banshee's just took a bunch of Daka to the face and left. Double Guardian is still in play and John Oakman goes double scouts with shotguns up already. Maybe it's going to be a double shotguns. Wouldn't expect the second scouts unless they're doubling up either on shotguns or on sniper rifles, but we'll see. Back towards the south, contested power is turning red. There's we are the hammer again. Should be fighting the brother captain, not decapping, I think. Double sluggers. These guys still in with burners. Burners means power weapons. And of course, orky fire. Yeah, brother captain should have been in that fight rather than decapping the power there. Generally. You always want to fight rather than cap. Unless it's desperation on VPs or something. Generally speaking, Gaz into some looters. So they didn't get double shooters, I think. Schmooze and Vengetron. Oh, Schmooze got double shooters and Vengetron got double sluggers. That's right. Into looters as well, though. John Oakman does go for double shotguns. If they go double shotguns and... Mastercrafted Bolter. That's a lot of control they'll have early on with suppression and knockback and stuff. Immolator Blade in for the Warlock. Can be a great thing early on against Orcs. When they tend to have piles of shooter boys, they can throw some fire on. Death Gun for the Mech Boy. John Oakman maybe looking for a way around. No, they're backing off again. They're helping out on the south. Might be able to flank Vengetron here, although... There's no grenades and stuff. They can get some tactical marine melee though. Although, here comes Gaz and John Oakman themselves may still find themselves flanked pretty soon. There's a shotgun blast. There's another one. Here come looters with a death gun. Yeah, John Oakman needs to be very careful now. Stun bomb goes in and stuns the tech marine. And double sluggers coming in. Right squad, need to run I think, burners on those sluggers and there's more sluggers in retreat path. Stormtroopers able to get out, Brother Captain now shows up alone with the upgraded Nemesis Force Sword for a stronger We Are The Hammer. Also a power melee weapon in its own right. Special attack misses on the retreat there and they have to run. Strat squad are okay though with Tomes of Titan, at least I think they're okay. Not even a model loss. Look at that. Dried Apricot into Guardian Weapon Team and Double Rangers, maybe. Sandstorm getting some purgation up. Early power was spent on the Tomes of Titan and on the Nemesis Force Sword. Maybe an extra unit a bit quicker. Would have been better on the south side. Bit more numbers going in. John Oakman scouts are coming back out onto the field. Tech Marine getting awfully close, looking for melee, I think, with the tactical Marines there. We do have big shooters on the shooter boys, though. They can suppress on demand with aiming what's that, although it does affect their DPS when they do so. Single Rangers for Dried Apricot. They did not get the second squad up, and there's a war banner doing war things. Mech Boy taking Ranger shots with those long rifles. Decent damage output there. Banshees don't have a aspect yet. Oh, here we go. Dried, Dried Apricot is getting more rangers. Maybe they saw some success with them. Want to get some more. Double Sluggers in there. 
Purgation getting caught, but Strike Squad doing some good work. Can they wipe him? But the captain might be able to turn and finish off those sluggers there. They did. I think. Yeah, it's a sink kill that's delaying the removal from the roster. Vengatron loses some sluggers. But I'm not sure if those fellas had uh, burners. Level 2 Strike Squad now. And the unending purge for the brother captain. For some reason, the brother captain still has their HQ or a, a visual effect there. But I assume that's just a visual glitch and on that, not actually getting the 50% damage reduction from it. Just sometimes the visual effects fire at an odd time and persist like that is very rare though. Looters getting shot up and red team will take the mid. Been a 2 to 1 against them for a while. At least I think they'll take the mid. Walkie generators to the north. Looks like a tech marine will be will be on the cap there. They can't quite push through to the power. I don't think the orcs have though either. But they did hold the mid for a while. Weird boy on the way for Schmooze Operator in tier 2. Warlock throws out a Destructor. Here come the double scouts, which should help against the sluggers. Indeed, they did with a big old shotgun blast. Can they wipe them here? Not quite. 10 hit points on two sluggers, they get away. Warlock runs. Bunch of shooter boys explode, and then storm boys jump in from Gaz. Jump troops with power melee weapons. Big threat to ranged units in general. And they can slice up heavy infantry such as these marines quite effectively. And there's the knob leader queued up for tier 2. And that guy's a big mean fella with a heavy melee weapon. And a stun on landing. War boss has fallen over in the south. Brother captain level 2 now with that unending purge with healing on hit. And still the errant HQ aura around the model there. Shooters being chased. These are fully upgraded shooter boys. Oh, Vengatron has some storm boys as well. They will actually be a big threat to the brother captain in melee. Unending purge might help somewhat though. Storm boys here with that knob leader jumping out. Just got a decap on that wreck point. Sluggers with a knob leader too. Has a power weapon and a bucket hit points. So they've got a pretty fearsome melee army there just from the storm boys and the sluggers with those knob leaders in there. Purgation getting too close. But the captain's turn to engage, but needs to be very careful. He gets a good special though. Strat Squad coming in. Didn't fire their banishment. Purgation able to stay in play. And Sluggers showing up now. There's the banishment. And there's Mind Blades on the Strat Squad. That's a global ability of the Brother Captain. Improving their damage output. And their melee skill. Much like use your choppers from the war boss actually, but it's just more expensive, I think. Still a 2-1 to one for the Blue Orcs. Uh-oh. There's that stun on landing. Oh, they were able to use Energy Burst to slow him down and then run. And they're getting their Justicar who has a power melee weapon back towards the mid. It's turning red. Fast capping tax on it. Weird Boy says no. Howling Banshee still no upgrades for these ladies. Dark Creeper's on the way for Dried Eight Forgot. Tier 3 for Schmooze Operator and Sandstorm with a Rhino. Got some Gretchens for Vengetron. No upgrade for him yet. And a Dreadnought is up for John Oakman. Also, they got some late tactical marines out as well. Maybe they're looking for Stone Guard veterans. Oh, and a Melter Gun Tech Marine. Okay. An odd choice. Haven't seen the vehicle yet. But expect to see a Master Crafted Vault Gun, maybe. Weird Boy doing some good work, throws out the Zap, which jumps to these guys. And that basic plasma attack is pretty nasty too. Melter Gun doing some work, eh? I mean, it will really hurt infantry. Might just kill a Shooter Boy on hit, that thing. This Liffy levels up. Lots of fire. Not sure what these Gretchens are trying to do. Need to run. And there's that Rhino. Pintle mounted storm bolter and now a twin linked heavy bolter on that. So some good inf anti infantry damage. But they also have loot. Oh, looters, don't they? Yeah, Gaz has looters. And 
uh, so does Schmooze. And here's his Gaz with the beamy death gun on it. Death tread on the way for Vengetron. These guys not taking a lot of damage. I guess they have really good cover right there. Management thrown in. Here comes the brother captain sprinting through with the improved We Are The Hammer and they have the Blessed Aegis up. So they should be reasonably tough here. Being able to throw a shield up now. 4-3-3 to 2-6-3. Red team the 2-1 cap. Beamy Death Gun for the mech boy himself. That Rhino's done for, I think. Oh, it's not firing. There we go. Got a rear armor here and they were teleporting after it just in case. Rhino down. Didn't last too super long. Looks like they're trying to cut through. Nope. I thought they were trying to cut through to get the VP. They want to fight. These Grey Knights want to fight. Purgation doing what they can. Storm Boys at their stun. There's the Purge by Flame thing. Which gives you instantaneous movement reduction on the enemy squad rather than waiting for the suppression to begin. Blessed Aegis up. Level 4 Brother Captain doing some good work. Gets a small amount of splash damage, of course, when he pops. We are the hammer, that fella. I think it's five damage splash. Rocket launcher commando is in. Wants to take out that dreadnought, I suppose. Death dread is up. Does not have burners and bits yet. And they're pushing on the power a bit here. Howling Banshee's looking for a target, and they found one. Wiping out some shooter boys. Still no upgrades for them. Been used as opportunists so far generally how you want to use Banshees, but they're often forced to be kind of a frontline unit, so you typically see them upgraded pretty soon to get the extra HP and stuff. Dreadnought cracking those sluggers and made them run for the Gork. It's a nasty one. Forces a full retreat there from John Oakman. Those tacks have a sergeant. Where's the other tacks? Oh, right here. They also have a sergeant. So maybe we will see Stone Guard veterans. What's up with the war boss? Bang Bang Hammer, Spiky Armor, and a Trophy Rack. Not sure. I, I guess they were going for melee on the Demia Death Gun there. Can they get the Dreadnought down? Teleport after it, maybe. Burners and bits in on the Death Dread. More hit points and some Orky Flamers. A very fancy special attack there. Orcs are going to take the mid back. Or are they? Here comes Sandstorm. Got a Terminator Librarian. Always a good pick alongside your Purgation to protect them with Sanctuary. That was a Warp Vomit. Only hit one of the Strat Squad though somehow. The Slugger's coming in. And Warboss puts Hard Boys on himself. Bang Bang Hammer buffing everything around him on hit and put some user choppers on himself. Tech Marine capping the mid. There is a Bright Lance up to threaten the Death Dread. Terminator Librarian does have some decent melee output. Solid combat unit. Sluggers are going to wipe maybe. Yes. Well, well placed Immolate. On retreat path there. Help get him down. Warlock's level 3. Brother Captain pushes through and takes a full shot from a looted tank. Throws up his shield. Bomber boys thrown in there. Terminator Librarian may go down. Being chased by Sluggers. Tech Marine. John Oakman trying to provide some cover on retreat. And it looks like... I think everything of Sandstorm's got away. I mean, they lost their Stormtroopers somehow, somewhere. Plasma Cannon up. Good Emperor's Fist from a Dreadnought. And Bright Lance getting some good clean shots on the Death Dread. Yeah, the Storm Boys do not want to fight a Dreadnought in melee. Tear them apart. Got some flash kits up for Schmooze Operator. And they are now poised with lots of spare population to just get loads of flash kits, which might be what they do against two heavy infantry races or factions with the... Um, Space Marines and the Ordo Malleus. Tech Marine. Lives? No, does not live. 320 to 244. VP's pretty even right now. Red team have the Northern Power with an Orky generator on it. Blue team have the Southern Power with nothing on it. 
Red team also have this central wreck point here. There's tier 3 from Sandstorm. Can they get Paladins rolled in, maybe? Need some more red. They have tons of requisition. I don't think their power's been hit at all, has it? Well, now the northern one's being hit. Oh, maybe not. Sluggers are staring at the node. Immolate on the VP gets the commando off it. Also has a mega boom kit. Not sure how it improves the stun bomb. Maybe it's just a longer stun. 320 to 244. Dreadnought has been repaired. Still level 1 though. Surprised we haven't seen the assault cannon on it already. But maybe they, they're they feeling the melee prowess of the storm boys and the sluggers. And they want a deterrent for that kind of thing. We already have double flash kits for smooth, up, smooth operator. And a assault cannon is a good answer to them. Because they can't damage vehicles effectively. There's Sanctuary. There's use your choppers on the Storm Boys. The Sanctuary will help waste that global. Conversion Beamer trying to take out the Death Dread. One more shot will do it. Messy fight in there, eh? Down goes the Death Dread. Storm Boys getting low. So is the Strike Squad. Strike Squad actually runs. Storm Boys jump out and then run. Now the Terminator Librarian runs. Run the Captain, level 5, doing some good work. Gretchen's getting stuck in and tying up the purgation. I don't think they can fight them effectively in melee, though. They're getting kicked in the head. Brother Captain versus Warboss. Brother Captain's very tough now with unend Unending Purge and the Blessed Aegis. 293, 244, red team stabilizing in the mid. There is a looted tank and a sneaky commando. Triple flash gets now for Schmooze Operator. And yeah, I think they're looking for triple blasters on those guys eventually. But the captain sees off the war boss. Maybe they could get onto the VP, but there is a death gun in the way. Doesn't quite have vision of that guy, which is why it's not firing. There we go, gets close enough. Vision provided by the generators maybe. Oh, he wants to power bash that fella. Back towards the mid, a knob squad is in play from Gaz. Knob leader coming up first. Elite melee squad. They will fight the Dreadnought pretty good. Oh, there's a D cannon. D cannon in for Dried Apricot. They still have a Ranger squad too. Oh, and some Dark Creepers. Dark Creepers will do some good work against the knob squad being heavy infantry and they have inferno damage those guys they pop their frenzy so their frenzy has been used relatively early dreadnought needs to get in there this foot of gork oh hide the boys we have some infiltrated walks now john open can't afford to stand around with tactical marines like that here comes the dreadnought and here come banshees good hit on those on those knobs can they finish them i think that one's maybe oh they do I thought maybe that one was far enough away, but a dread the Dreadnought helped take down the Knob Squad with some Banshee help. A rock dropped in. Can they finish off the Dreadnought here? Can they chase it with the tank? Beamy's getting shots. Blaster's blasting. Looks like the Dreadnought has survived 236 to 244. Very slight VP lead for Red Team, but Blue Team are taking the mid. Sandstorm now has a Land Redder Crusader. Hurricane bolters on the side, Sponsons. Molter Melter and a twin linked to Salt Cannon. That thing can reinforce you in the field, give you health and energy regen. Very good support vehicle. Seer Council on the way for Dried Ape, but that's a good shout, I think. Provide a really nice damage resistance aura. And they're powerful melee fighters, too. Set to be getting a heavy melee upgrade, perhaps, in the next update, which is pretty nuts. Looking forward to see that. Level 2 Terminator Librarian. You can see the auras coming off the Crusader. They've gone very aggro with the Crusader. This is super far forward to take this thing. Here's a battle wagon now from Vengetron. They got a full power bash. You need to get that thing back. Can't rear armor hit a Crusader or any Land Raider. But they are big fat slow targets here comes a looted tank and here comes a beamy death gun there's a 
big mistake to bring it this far forward, I think. Big mistake. Storm boys as well, and another beamy death gun from the mech boy. Who can, of course, teleport after it. And they have no repair support whatsoever. Got some Stern Guard veterans from John Oakman now. There's that sanctuary. Mech boy buffs himself with the um, more darker there. To keep moving, Mr. Land Raider. Something needs to get on that mech boy, but they're not doing it. Scouts. Maybe can repair. There we go. They're trying to, but the Land Raider keeps moving. They killed the mech boy. Land Raider survives for now. That was very risky and he barely got away with it. Level 5 Tech Marine has done well with that Melter Gun. Level 3 Terminator Librarian now. Can they kill... Oh, did you kill... Oh, I thought the Commando showed up and destroyed the Land Raider, but they took him out. 2-1 to one for the Orcs, though. Big, dangerous army of Flash Kits and Nob Squad as well. Gaz got another Nob Squad in. That's a Singularity. That's a good way. No, it's not. It's an Eldritch Storm. Singularity is a good way to deal with a mob of flash kits though, isn't it? Foot of Gork here. Trying to dodge it and stay in pain. They did well. See a council in on the knob squad. They didn't want to fight him. Didn't want to fight a supported uh, seer supported council there. 236 to 144. Can the red team recap the mid? There's distortion field from the Warlocks Global Bar on the seer council providing some damage resistance from ranged fire which should stack with their own aura there sluggers trying to repair see a council in on the tank and then they got warp vomited warp vomited and shot at so they ran but red team able to cap the mid they created a bunch of space there for the cap the land raider desperately needs repairs there where are the scouts should be repairing, fellas. So should the Tech Marine. Should be helping to repair that thing. Warboss trying to get some revives going. Level 3 now. With a trophy rack. Having to flee. They do have the Stormtroopers to try and repair. But it, everything should be trying to repair that thing. And it shouldn't be on the south. Why is it on the south still? They're a bit too much... Uh, Kind of tunnel vision here, John Oakman. You got another strike squad. They have tons of resources. They could drop paladins in. They just don't have the population for it. Brother Captain's going to go down. Able to drop an orbital in base. You do have the damage resistance for being in base, but... Oh, they took out the battle wagon. Got some other good hits as well. That was a decent nuke. Well, a very good nuke if it takes out... A super unit, I think. Strike squad. Oh, level four strike squad white. Wow. Flash gets just wrecked John Oakman's army after that good nuke. And Brother Captain's down, of course. Oh, John Oakman made a Razorback instead of the Whirlwind, it looks like. It'll still be useful. They can reinforce off it here. 185 to 135 on the VPs. John Oakman and Dried April have a lot of units to manage now. Double Dark Creepers, that's cool. Flash kits are heavy infantry, but it's hard to stand and trade with them as an infantry unit in ranged combat. And they've got those blasters, especially since Dark Creepers are also heavy infantry. So they won't like those blaster shots at all. Did any of them level? Yeah, got a couple of level twos. Knob Squad on the way now for Schmooze. More Stormtroopers for Sandstorm to help repair that Land Raider. Which is still around. That's my cannon getting some decent hits. Dreadnought is still alive, by the way. Still in melee mode, too. Running into the Flash Gits. Getting debuffed by the Trophy Rack now. So it's a Gork. Orcs is rampaging through. Dreadnought now fighting a knob squad. 
Oh, right, the captain shows up with a demolishing strike demon hammer there. Razor back doing some decent work, but it's going to die or get wrecked if it doesn't move. It's going to go down. Dreadnought may also fall. Sanctuary may save it. It's so low, though. It's so low. Tank is getting shots. It goes down. Did some decent work, but goes down. John Oakman of tons of resources. Should be looking at a Land Raider Redeemer now, I think. There's a Crusader. It's still sitting in base being repaired. 137, 135 on the VPs. Incredibly close. But Orcs has had a big victory there. And now look at this. Four flash kits. Soon to be three knob squads. Sorry, four knob squads. Oh, Venerable dropped in. From Oakman. They could also drop Terminators, I guess. If they don't want to wait the 70 seconds or whatever it is for a Land Raider. Land Raider would be so good here, though. Well, I mean, you would be up against four knob squads on your Land Raider. The same is true for a Terminator squad. Instantly have to teleport out of there. Maybe they can target weak squads and get some... Get some inspirations. Stern Guard are using their vengeance rounds. They should be using Kraken bolts against the Knob Squad. But Knob Squad died. Knob Squad white. Very sloppy there from Schmooze. I think those are Schmoozes. Not sure what that was about. Dreadnought survives. Warlock gets a revive there. Warlock is level 6 now with the Witch Maid of Kernus Providence and Faltru's Wing. Schmooze operate. Oh, Schmooze had mega lag there. Maybe that's why they lost that knob squad. Hopefully they didn't actually drop. I mean, if they if that message got through, I guess they're fine. 137 to 82. Can the, can the orcs see this out now? Little bit of action in the south. The land raiders still there. John Oakman did not bring it mid ever, I don't think. Would have been great support in the mid. I guess they were trying to get through to the VP again. But it's not really a push you want to do with a land raider, I don't think, unless they're absolutely desperate. And maybe, I mean, maybe they did feel desperate. Maybe they felt that desperation. But the captain goes down, Terminator Librarian goes down. They do have Grey Knight Terminators in. Damage power melee halberds on those fellas. Good fighters. Getting a side cannon. And here comes the strike squad again. Tech Marine going for the decap. Boom gun says no. Orcs bringing huge amounts of front loaded damage with the, with the flash kits. I mean, if you survive the blaster barrage, you've got to face down multiple knob squads and a pissed off war boss. Warlock runs away. Oakman thinks it's over. They still have some decent units, but I think Sandstorm's lost too much and not and that, that land red is spending so much time being repaired. Oakman should have been should have been repairing with, with everything they had, I feel like. And it should have gone mid. And Oakman should have got a Land Raider Redeemer. Instead of dropping the Venerable Dreadnought. I mean I really appreciate them dropping a Venerable Dreadnought. Yeah, what happened to this Seer Council? Are they still alive? I guess not. I think I missed what happened to those fellas. Unless it was on the screen, of course. In one of those big pushes. But looks like the walks have done enough. The war continues on, I believe. What is this? It's another Terminator Librarian. War boss in amongst some stern guard over there. Rob Squad having a grand old time cracking skulls. And the orcs are going to take it. With one last hurrah. And there's an orbital. Oh, we're not going to get to see it, though. Let's look at his heroes. End of the game. Level 4 commando knob. With some stick bombs. Level 5 mech with that beamy death gun. Level 5 war boss. Had claw at the end. Level 7 warlock. Quietly did some good work, I think, Dried Apricot. Oakman, level 8. With some maybe strange choices at the end, also not getting the whirlwind when they 
meant to. It might have been really good against the Flash Kits, but I think they should have got a Salt Cannon Dreadnought as well. And a Brother Captain, level 8. Some good plays, like um, the Orbital in base to take out the Battle Wagon, but then they had the huge losses from the Flash Kit bursts, and they kind of struggled to get back from that. And weird plays with the Crusader as well. But there you have it. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one in the Maya, and I'll see you next time.